Hello and welcome to cookingflavors.com. For today's video, we look at uh, my new uh, kitchen countertop. I've made certain uh, changes uh, to the existing kitchen countertop uh, that is to the right hand side of my uh, stove, just this part alone. I've purchased some new items for the kitchen and I have made certain changes. So this is how it will look like. Uh, I'll show you in detail what I have done and um, what changes I have made to this. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll be able to cover the entire thing, but if you're able to see clearly, this is just the overview of the uh, the right hand side of the stove that part alone uh, if you had seen my kitchen tour organization you would be able to recognize the difference see this was the older one how it looked like previously so uh, I this was not very convenient for me so I have made uh, small changes here and there for the better functioning of my cooking and my uh, kitchen uh, now you see uh, that's the side of my refrigerator uh, as you know I've stuck contact paper there uh, because any mess or spills from my uh, stove I like to keep my refrigerator clean so that is peelable and wipeable as well uh, so I'll show you that uh, those two things that measuring chart and my tissue uh, paper roll uh, stays there I've made no changes there and I'll show you what I have done here uh, sorry about the shake in, ca in the camera because I'm holding it in my hand so excuse me for that just this part alone you might find it a little shaky so you see i have um, i you this is a small pan or a, a saucepan kind of a thing which i use to just heat up one cup of milk or make one cup of coffee or tea what i have done here is i have used magnetic hooks here because my refrigerator holds uh, magnets even on this side so i've used those hooks here and it uh, carries a good amount of weight uh, so and this is not very heavy also so i've hung that there and this is my seasoning or my uh, tatka pan so these two things i use them almost every day so i've kept them there and below my tissue paper holder also i've used a magnetic hook and this is a small colander which i use uh, to wash my uh, vegetables and fruits every day so these three things uh, are uh, items that i use every day on a regular basis so this is the side of the refrigerator now we'll uh, look at the countertop part of the thing my spoon rest is the same it still remains there i'm just taking it out for the uh, better view of the uh, things here so you see now this working space here there's a lot of space here compared to the older one so this is my spoons uh, stand all my spoons there i'll show you the new purchases also that i've made so these two wooden spoons i bought recently which i use for uh, salt and my uh, pickles and my mortar and pestle stays there all of you know that i always use a cloth uh, below it uh, to protect my countertop uh, now you see that section uh, that tray i've uh, arranged all my oils uh, there and there is another two tier shelf here now we i'll show you in detail what they are uh, now I'll show you my oil tray earlier uh, if you see I had a tray where I had a mixture of oils and chili powder salt pepper everything now I've arranged my oils uh, separately you see this is a small very cute tray and the tray itself is very pretty but uh, since it holds all of my oils I didn't want to uh, mess up the place so I've used a, a shelf liner cut it according to the tray and I've placed it here I have all my oils my refined oil my uh, sesame oil or nalenne then uh, here I have my uh, olive oil and this is also a very new purchase that I have uh, made it's, it's got a very cute uh, spout the oil doesn't spill out at all so that's my olive oil bottle and this is for my uh, coconut oil and here I have my uh, ghee and this is a silicone uh, basting uh, brush or an oil brush where you can use it on your dosa tawa or for your greasing your idli pans both the brush and the base the bottle both are silicone i've not used them as uh, yet i've not tried it out but they say it uh, uh, it withstands a lot of heat so you can uh, use it on very hot pans as well so um, probably once i use it i can give you i can tell you how it uh, it functions so that also stays there and this is my you know all of you know i used uh, any fr used oil i uh, store it in this container so this tray essentially holds all of my uh, oils 
now this is a two tier uh, shelf uh, let's see what i have in these uh, uh, two shelves here so this is a ceramic jar or what we call as a jardi in our uh, language so see this has a nice wooden lid and it is nice and airtight as well and i have my tamarind uh, stored in here so that stays there and next to it is also a uh, ceramic um, uh, jadi where I have my uh, kanj mulaga or a dry red chilies in this. Earlier I had my uh, tamarind in this jar here but then the mouth of this jar is very small. It was difficult for me to put my hand into it so I've replaced it this way and here I have my uh, table salt in this uh, jar here. And in front of that you see this is my turmeric bottle. It is made of of uh, stainless steel and a glass it is a see-through bottle and uh, it is a sprinkler it's called larger uh, sprinkling holes and the other side it's got smaller ones because we don't use turmeric in large quantities i prefer to keep it in a sprinkler bottle like this and next to it is my salt sprinkler i have a sprinkler always here because when i fry onions i like to sprinkle a little for the quick frying of the onions so that comes in handy that's why i have that small uh, salt sprinkler there and we'll go to the second shelf uh, uh, here that is the shelf below this here if you see that's a ceramic one as well a porcelain one uh, that has my kalupo rock salt and here i have my uh, asafoetida operandi below that but behind that you see i have a very small cute uh, bottle here so i have cardamom because uh, we drink a lot of cardamom tea so i like to keep in my cardamom for fresh grinding so it's always handy there and this is a pepper uh, sprinkler you can spray keep any spices here but i've stored in powdered pepper here it's got as usual larger one and smaller holes here so i like to sprinkle that there it's already powdered and this one is my chili powder very similar to my salt bottle and this one is a whole pepper that is you can for freshly grinding it so this is the powdered pepper and this is the whole pepper which i can uh, uh, grind freshly so this is what is there in uh, this shelf now i'll just show you what are the new purchases here so this bigger one is a new one the salt bottle is a new purchase the turmeric bottle is a new purchase as well the chili powder bottle is also new and uh, this salt uh, sorry pepper sprinkler is uh, new as well and the the two tier shelf is also new so these are the recent purchases that I have made and the olive oil bottle is new, the basting brush is new and on the side my colander is also new. Uh, all these are, uh, most of them I've got from the, uh, from the dollar store and from Amazon. So I like the way, uh, you know, I'm very, very happy and pleased with the way I have uh, arranged my uh, kitchen countertop now that is especially the right hand side of the store which where uh, which is the most functional area so i'd like to always keep experimenting on uh, uh, you know organization uh, things which is because as you keep organizing and as you keep changing uh, you might find something which is really really convenient and really really uh, useful so that's how i came up with this idea so finally i'm very pleased with the way i have done uh, with this organization so if you enjoyed this video today, please do give us a thumbs up and post in your comments and suggestions. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon to get all our updates immediately. Till we see you again with another new and interesting video. Thank you and happy cooking.